Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and the pre-judging for the 212 division is all over, and I have to say guys, Keon Pearson really delivered, he looks so incredible here, and this is one of the only few shots that I could get, an uh, actual close-up clear shot, and I will compare him with his men's classic physique division front double by at the end of this one, but let's run through the poses guys, and I have to say, I do believe Keon is definitely going to take this one. From the left to the right, we have Jason Hebert, Austin Carr, Keon, of course, and Noel Adame. Everybody had high hopes for him. Not so good in this pose, I have to say. And Jason Lowe, even from these unclear pitchers, he does look a little bit flat. Maybe he missed his mark a little, and the, obviously the judges have him at the end. Run through the poses, and like I said, guys, these are not the clearest in the world, but use your imagination, I guess. Actually, Jason Hebert at the end there might look the best in this one. Actually, both bookends. Jason Lowe, Jason Hebert look pretty good. Keon, not without his charms. And again, guys, I don't think this Noel Adim is living up to his name. He has the big, huge legs, of course, but structurally speaking, the upper body, not the best, perhaps. Go to the side. Now, this is where Noel Adim is going to get some points, and I, he is probably winning this. Shortest man probably in the lineup, but my soul, look at those legs. Have you ever seen a hamstring hang quite so low? Now, Keon, he might be taking this if you look just look at the upper body and the flow. But realistically, guys, he might not be winning the side chest development. And these are not the clearest pitchers at all, of course. Go to the side tricep, and I have to say, Keon really sticks out. Keon, I, I apologize. Keon really sticks out in this one. Of course, I'm not a huge fan of the way he is hitting this, but he really seems to pull this one off, does he not? I mean, compare him with Jason Hebert at the end there, and obviously he's a little bit too turned to the side. And like I said, Jason Lowe really missed his mark, looks very flat. Turn to the back, have a quick look at the back development, and I must say this is where Noel Adim may, may gain some ground. But in, when you look at the back development, maybe not the best. Jason Lowe, pretty good here in this position, I have to say. It looks from here, looks conditioned, I must say. So I'm not going to totally write him off, but I would wager to say Keon here in the rear lat spread. And I would wager to say Keon Pearson, definitely going to win this one. Actually, in the rear lat spread, again, both back shots, I have to say. Jason Lowe, really gaining some ground. I must say, and there's been a lot of shots where Noel Adame, like this pose here, not the best at all. He has the size and the legs, conditioning in the glutes, but he lacks a lot of things. Like I said, though, guys, Jason Lowe, tremendous here. Anyway, guys, on to the ab and thigh. And Keon, pretty good in this one, even though it's only a one-arm overhead, and I prefer the two-arm, but you have to admit... Even in these blurry pictures, you can see clear conditioning. The other gentlemen, every one of them a little flat in the abs. And maybe Jason Hebert there at the end. He doesn't look too bad, but still, Keon has the conditioning of the upper body. Again, the legs of uh, Noel here, Noel Adame. And again, Jason Hebert. Maybe drop the ball a little bit as far as the conditioning is concerned. Most muscular, the final pose, the final say in this. And I must say, Austin Carr, I haven't been saying too much about him, but he, he could surprise us, second or third place. Jason Lowe, I'm afraid he may have dropped the ball too much in a few of the poses, but he, he could catch up with that second place. Keon obviously not hitting the pose here, but I definitely believe he has this one for sure. And here's the little comparison, Keon 212 and Keon, men's classic physique division. I'm not exactly sure what he weighed, but my soul... The legs and the upper body. His head looks small now. And his head at the classic physique looked little or looked big. You know what I mean? Because his body was much smaller. And now he delivered, guys. So congratulations. A, a little bit of a pre-celebration here. Congratulations to Keon. He is definitely going to take this one, in my opinion. Anyway, guys, just a quick update video. I'll definitely let you know when he actually wins. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more updates.